Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, then welcome to my channel. My name is Dana Jaya. And this video is going, yeah, I have this in mind. And this video is going to be about money talk, some assistance talk. So, um, I am assuming that you have your assistance and now you just have to come here and things after that. Um, so if you have that, congratulations. Um, if you don't, then don't lose hope. Uh, I know it's, it takes a lot of patience and time, but you'll get there soon in the future. So let's get started. Um, yeah, I had some questions about like, um, if you get assistance, then um, how much more money do you have to spend until we are here like I know we spend a lot of money before on GRE, ILTS, TOEFL, um, other documentation something like that and it's it's like a lot of money uh, but you are almost there and after that uh, the things you have to spend your money is ticket shopping and just a $1,500 card or you can get the cash um, as much as you like I know legally you can take I think 1500 but I don't know I don't know about like more than that or something um, so it really depends uh, how much you have to spend because the tickets uh, price where I with time and where do you want to go something like that and shopping also where I um, on what you want to get how much of things how many things you want to get so it depends so I can say like oh you need this this amount of money to get here but so that's the things you uh, will have to spend and you can check how much uh, will work for you so the another question is like um, how much can you expect monthly or um, can you save any money like that so it's a lot of things here so hold on tight and bear with me so the assistance amount is different in different states, different university, um, and within the state, within the university also. For example, um, I'm here in Louisiana, and Louisiana is comparatively cheaper than some cities, for example, California or somewhere more expensive or more developed kind of uh, states so price will be higher for example rent uh, here is cheaper than california gases groceries and all other things uh, that varies according to the states and also your stipend will be different according to the states because you will spend more in California you will get more and because you have less expenses here in Louisiana you get a bit less um, but it's not like fixed but it, it goes around like that and even in like same university it depends uh, what your major in uh, whether you are a master's student or a PhD student and what your department um, and if uh, a professor is funding you um, he can change like if he has more grant he can increase your stipend or something like that I'm funded I'm getting funded by my department so not more of that change but um, like I got um, 20,000 per year I get um, but the people who came after one semester than me are getting 22,000 and who will uh, come after this semester they will get 
2000 more or some more so it works like that i don't know why it uh, i don't know if it works same in different universities but it works like that and so uh, at first you can get hyped up because uh, you you hear like 20,000 per year that's a lot of money but there is some details hidden details you want to know so uh, first of all uh, yeah 20,000 uh, per year is like monthly 1666 something um, but you don't get that money uh, because there are taxes and some hidden fees you have to pay and other things so let me get my example so uh, I was supposed to be get out I was supposed to get 1666 um, as per my yearly uh, stipend but I pay federal tax and state tax um, which is 222 per month and some I have to pay some fees uh, um, your tuition is wet if you have a citizenship um, but there are other fees like like in Nepal or other countries we have like um, extracurricular curricular activities fees library fees something like that so same thing here um, so you have to pay that fees and cutting all out I get monthly around 1150 so that's what you get 1600 to 1100 that's a big difference so you have to be prepared mentally and uh, mentally uh, you can't do anything financially if you are here so <clears throat> you have to keep that in mind while coming but um let me tell you that it is enough um i think in states like louisiana um it this this amount of money is enough because mine is kind of less than the people who came after me but i managed to uh, save uh, some amount of money it's not more but you can save if you uh, if you really wish to save or like you know um be mindful about your money and other things so yeah you can save a couple of hundreds um because uh you don't eat out a lot if you don't eat out a lot and do less shopping or something and be mindful you can save um because at first i spend a lot of money in shopping um but nowadays um I am not yeah I think that's it so my answer is yes you can save and yeah thank you for watching guys bye bye